Good morning and blessings to you this beautiful, well, almost sunshiny day. May the third of God's blessings be with you as we proclaim Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. There's many things happening in the life of this church, but first uh, I need to introduce who I am. I'm Pastor Scott, and this is Christ the King Lutheran Church. And I need to give a big shout out to, well, lots of people, um, those who normally come here on a regular basis, but uh, we're uh, broadcasting, if you will, on Wi-Fi and so forth throughout the United States and actually the world. I need to say hello to my friend in New Zealand, as well as uh, our dear friends in Ohio, Texas, Florida, and a couple other states, Pennsylvania, Washington, and so forth. So God's blessings to all of you as we proclaim Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. But as far as this church, there's many things happening that I'd love for you to be a part of. First and foremost, um, you may notice that uh, behind me is something different. And he actually just went off. Now, the, you know, the land of Oz has the great wizard. Uh, we, on the other hand, have Owen. Um, <laughs> say something, Wizard of Oz. -y. Pay no attention to the man and the Right, don't pay attention to the man or the curtain. So he's coming from his home and we're practicing good uh, social distancing. But uh, for things happening in the life of this church, there's many things that I'd love for you to be a part of. On Monday, we've got a couple of things on Facebook Live. We have prayer at high noon, which you're welcome to be a part of. Kids' time at 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, love for you to be a part of that as well. Wednesday is our Bible study day. We have 1 o'clock, we're in the midst of 1 Samuel. And then at 7 o'clock, we've got um, the Gospel of Mark. Um, but right before that, at 6, the great and powerful Owen will share some uh, music reflections of faith uh, through music. So please be a part of that. On Thursday, we have two things. Number one, at 10 o'clock, I do just a check-in on Facebook Live. Um, just to let you know, I want to let, I want to hear what you are doing in the midst of all of these things that are going on. Tell me the good things, maybe the things you're struggling with, uh, so we can lift you up in prayer. And then also on Thursday is the National Day of Prayer. Um, I would invite you to come on Facebook Live, where at 1 o'clock, I'll be having a prayer session in regards to that. So please be a part of that. And then on Friday, Godly Play with Mrs. Kathy Ham. If you've not experienced Godly Play, it's a lovely time to well, share God's Word through story time and to do some wondering. So that's at 10 o'clock on Friday. Something that's coming up that I think is going to be fun, on May 13th, I'm calling it Pastor Panda and a Parking Lot. Uh, from 12 to 1.30, so that's May 13th, where I am going to meet you in a parking lot, um, go and grab some Panda Express, and we'll do um, some social distancing as we eat our Panda Express in the parking lot, and we'll do you know, a little uh, blessing as well. So that's uh, some things to come up, as well as uh, the God to Me project, and I'll get into further detail uh, with all of that with you, if you are so interested, um, this coming week. If you'd like to participate with us um, in regards to the order of this service, you can certainly message me or call us here at the church, and I can send you um, uh, a bulletin with all of these things that we are, uh, you know, we are going through. So if you'd like to be a part of that, please send it to me. Um, probably by Thursday if you'd like to partake. So this is the bulletin that we follow through every Sunday. All right, without further ado, let us begin our praise and glorifying God through our gathering hymn. So if you are so able, will you please rise and let us sing, Come and See, and Owen put us on mute as we sing. Thank you. 
But in our calling, we sometimes have difficulty listening to your voice. Sometimes we are stubborn. Sometimes we just don't pay attention at all. Give us words of God that we can hear clearly, simply, but filled with love. These things we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Please be seated as we hear our readings for today. Good morning. The first reading is from Acts, second chapter. The baptized devoted themselves to the apostles, teaching and fellowship, to the breaking of bread and the prayers. Awe came upon everyone because many wonders and signs were being done by the apostles. All who believed were together and, all, and had all things in common. They would sell their possessions and goods and distribute the pro proceeds to all as any had need. Day by day, as they spent much time together in the temple, they broke bread at home and ate their food with glad and generous hearts, praising God and having, and having the goodwill of all the people. And day by day, the Lord added to their number those who were being saved. Word of God, word of life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Sure. If you endure when you are beaten for doing wrong, what credit is that? But if you endure when you do right and suffer for it, you have God's approval. 
For to, for to this you have been called, because Christ has also suffered for you leaving you leaving you an example so that you should follow his steps he committed no sin and no deceit was found in his mouth when he was abused he did not return abuse when he suffered he did not threaten but when he entrusted himself to the one who judges justly he he himself bore our sins in his body on the cross so that free from sins we might live for righteousness by his wounds you have been healed. For you were going astray like sheep, but now you have returned to the shepherd and guardian of your souls. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. If you are so able, we please rise for the gospel for today, this Good Shepherd Sunday. The Holy Gospel according to John, the 10th chapter. Glory to you, O Lord. And Jesus said, Very truly I tell you, anyone who does not enter the sheepfold by the gate, but climbs in by another way, is a thief and a bandit. The one who enters by the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens the gate for him, and the sheep hear his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, he goes out ahead of them, and the sheep follow him because they know his voice. They will not follow a stranger, but they will run from him because they do not know the voice of strangers. And Jesus used this figure of speech with them, but they did not understand what he was saying to them. So again, Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and bandits. But the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters by me will be saved, and will come in and go out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. This is the gospel of our Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Christ. Please be seated. Grace and peace to you from God our Creator and our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Amen. As some of you may know, I was a vicar or an intern pastor in Washington State, specifically in a town called Cheney, Washington, not too far from Spokane. Now the east side of the state is dramatically different than the west with its well, major cities of Seattle and Olympia, where there was the hustle and bustle of many, many people. In Cheney, Washington, it was, well, farming and ranching life for many folks. Sure, there were other industries there, but most folks weren't at the pace that nature provided. One such fellow was named Chuck, a longtime member of the church that I was serving. He was a stout man in his late 70s, and his hands were large and had calluses upon calluses from working the land for many years. Now, Chuck had two jobs. He was a farmer that produced lots of wheat, as well as a rancher. He had loads of cattle and sheep. So after one Sunday worship, he came up to me and said, in turn, Pastor Scott, you and I need to talk about sheep. Okay? If you are going to be a pastor, otherwise known as a shepherd, you need to know all about sheep. Okay? I said, with worry in my soul. So this is what we are going to do. You are going to come out to my house on Tuesday morning at 7 o'clock. Got it? 7 o'clock in the morning? Pastor. Half the day is gone by 7 in the morning. I could ask you to come at 4. Would you like that instead? No, no. No, no, no. 7 o'clock is just fine. So Tuesday came, and I rolled out of bed begrudgingly, 
and drove to Chuck's house. With the sun gleaming in my eyes, he met me at his fenced area, and he said, Morning, Pastor! He said with a devilish smile. Morning, as I said, as I needed more sleep. And then he looked at me straight and said, Are you ready? Sure. And then suddenly he whistled this loud whistle that I cannot uh, 